All right, guys, we have got the best question that an Instagram follower has presented to us yet. And it was that Texas local. And he asked, or he said, topic, why use OEM parts for our car's maintenance rather than cheaper off the shelf ones? For example, OEM oil filters. And I, I mean, I had a really good time with this one. Yeah. And I think we've got some great data for you guys. We're gonna present that at the end. Um, so stick around. But right now, um, I'm gonna let Tom show you some things that he dug up from the archive of parts. And most of this stuff is for you B13 guys. Yeah. And it kind of broadens out further. But yeah. All right, so lots to cover. So I'm gonna go real fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, so right here, coolant reservoir tank caps. This is the real early B13 style with the tether on it right these are available this is the later style this fits a lot of a lot yeah. of nissans so have a look if you if you're missing one shoot us your uh, vin and we'll figure out which one you need so that's cool also radiator cap we have to special order this one in i'm surprised we didn't have it sitting on the we shelf. did we stocked so many radiator yeah. caps that we didn't have this one yeah it's kind of strange so there's that one <clears throat> uh b13 under hood rubber bumper kit mm -hmm. there's two styles shorty and the fatty you'll need two of each the prop rod grommet they use this on a lot but just yeah. i mean we just covered or i covered it in a video a, a week and a half two weeks ago about you know how how important those really are and you probably just don't even realize how annoying they are when they're gone and also radiator upper radiator support bushings yeah, you don't want your radiator flopping around. No, because that'll put stresses on all kinds of stuff. Um, one bad piece of bad news, anyway, is the clip that holds the prop rod. The original style is not available, but we're hoping we can figure out what we can use as a substitute. Yeah. So if you guys have B13 with that clip that holds that prop rod in place, if you can uh, shoot us a picture of it, we can see what we can make yeah make do yeah i think we can come up with something um but the whatever was specific to that car the part number isn't available anymore which is wild yeah and i check i check with japan too <laughs> too bad. Uh, and then also gas caps now they use two different numbers and i'm assuming that it's based on emissions so one's probably federal one's probably california or it could be one cap is vented the other is not so it's very important that if you're going to order a gas cap uh 80s vehicles 90s vehicles yeah on uh to shoot us your vin so we can make sure you guys order the right one because if it takes a vented cap you order non-vented cap it's going to do all kinds of damage to your tank you're not going to want that um and finally as far as this is probably my favorite us. one. This is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm surprised we, we they still had this available. B15 door, what would you call this? Uh, pillar tape, yeah. Pillar it's, like tape. A, it's like a finisher piece. Um, and we've got them for all four doors. Yep. And Russell made the discovery that it looks like it's kind of matte and satin finish. I don't know how well you can see that. But maybe Russell can explain it better than I can. Yeah, so the so these are um, you peel this off, um, and this will um, the the top side here is actually the the glossy side. So this back piece comes off to stick down. It's kind of strange. And it's glossy black. At least I'm What's assuming that's right. Yeah. Okay. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because because yeah, I don't know. Um, they they kind of when they came out, um, if they're supposed to be that kind of faded black let me know let us both know so we know yeah but, but if you peel that back a little bit it's uh it's definitely glossy inside there so yeah it looks like the glossy side is the side with the adhesive on it weird so then you'd peel this matte side off yeah and reveal right anyway so that's it for new parts um i've got a list here do you want me to touch any of this real quick or now yeah go ahead okay so i got some bad news uh this is in response to some of the requests on the last video. Um, S30 through S130 brake boosters, not available. Several people emailed in about those too, which I thought was really cool, but yeah, sorry guys. Um, Dotson Roadster master cylinders, single uh, and dual reservoirs, 
not available anymore. They're gone forever. Um, just found out today the S13 coupe trunk and fuel door release cable. Yeah. Discontinued. That hurts. That's done. Um, D21 guys and gals, ashtray cup holder accessory. I wish I could have found some of those. We yeah. even did a dealer locate to see if there was any sitting on the shelves in any dealerships across the country. Discontinued. Uh, we had a D21 request for rear bumpers. Not available at all. Those were sold as an accessory kit. Yep. Which is which I thought was weird back then. Like, why would yeah. you sell a truck without a bumper? A lot, a lot of uh, manufacturers did that. When I worked at Dodge, they had an accessory step bumper. So weird. And and so people would need a bumper replacement. You could buy the accessory bumper kit with everything for like half the price of what you bought a replacement bumper for. It's the same bumper. Right. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that D21 bumpers, if you have the existing brackets, you can find them in the aftermarket. Mm -hmm. Which you know is a, you know if that's your only option. Right. That's the way it goes. Um, Tim Putland, he um, talked about Roadster brake parts. We do have caliper pistons available. They're brand new, not rebuilt. These are OEM parts straight from Nissan. So um, we have caliper pistons. He asked for any brake part available for the Roadsters. I'm gonna spend some time on that. Um, yeah. I love the Roadsters a little, I just think it's so cool. Yeah. So I'll spend some time looking for your brake parts for the Roadsters and let you know. Um, we talked about the door post that heat the stickers the tape yep yep and uh, i think that's it let me make sure here yeah that's all i have um bad news for everybody that was hoping that jose lopez <laughs> was not going to get in touch and that hundred bucks is going to roll over uh we finally heard from him i heard from him today yeah he came last minute you, yeah you barely got in yeah he got he lucky because we were ready to roll it over <laughs> but um jose good job thanks for getting in touch with us um Russ will probably explain to you already how to redeem the $100 store credit. I haven't at the moment, but I am going to today. Okay. So, um, I think, you know, it, do you think it's real quick? So we're going to, we're going to jump into answering the question from, um, from the Instagram follower and, and just so you know, hit us up. I'm going to get you a free t-shirt coming your way. Um, but did you ever think that we would be doing experiments and testing on oil filters. I didn't, I didn't. I mean, the, the furthest I've ever gone with oil filters, as far as a comparison between OEM and aftermarket, is like, okay, which one feels heavy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you want a good thick casing on yeah. it and all that. And the, and the Nissan filters are built very nice, which most OEM filters are. Um, and, and the aftermarket ones, you know, if you, if you buy a $2 oil filter, I think, you get what you pay for. That says a lot right there. It's but that doesn't always ring true, so we right. have to do the science. We put <clears throat> hours, it's like ridiculous amounts. So of, much. We in our, in our own personal free time, right. you know, coming in after work and stuff. Um, off the clock, yeah. trying to figure out, okay, let's let's get, let's get resolve this issue. Yeah. Because, I mean, I've been in the parts business 30-something years, and this is this one thing that just keeps bubbling up to the top. Well, why should I buy a Yeah. Well, I can get it for two bucks. Okay. Let's figure this out. This is conclusive, final word. I mean, yeah, we 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 had, I mean, the, the amount of trees we had to kill to, to print off the data that we had, and the presentation was gonna be very hard. So we had to come up with a new plan, and I think it was the best way to really crack this. Yeah. And get Lots. the answers that everybody's been waiting for. Right. Lots of trial and error. So we destroyed so many brand new filters. Yeah. Trying to figure this one out. Yeah. And, and had we known, you know, what we really needed to do, would have been easy. Yeah. So we kept it really simple. We got an OEM oil filter, and we did the same thing with an aftermarket brand oil filter, and we locked it in a room, camera on, running, full battery, full memory card or empty memory card, just let it run. And then we revisited it after a while, and let's just roll the tape. We'll just roll the, tape. roll the tape. OEM filter, you're up. Check it out. They wanna judge me, I'll testify. Catch me on Insta, I'm verified. They want me quiet, I amplify. I'm on my way, on my way. So the best thing that you wow. Ever I mean, what are you gonna buy for your car? Dude, that was that was hot. That was hot. I, I'm I'm sweating, I and it's not because of the lights in here. <laughs> I need a shower after that video. I'm not taking a shower. I'm going to sleep wow. like this. Wow, my, my eyes are like all fogged up now. I mean, it, steamy. I, I mean, we haven't even got to the aftermarket one yet, but right now I already know 
which oil filter I'm putting on my grandma's car. Well, I don't. Uh, I mean, that was that's probably too sexy for your granny's car. Okay, well, I mean, let's, there's let's, only one other option. Aftermarket. Let's. All right, aftermarket filter, you're up. Let's take a look. Break. <laughs> 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 <laughs>